Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Friday, September 6, 2024, Friday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of might, giver of every good gift, Put into our hearts the love of your name, so that, by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke, chapter 5, verses 33 through 39. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same, but yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new, and the piece from it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins. And no one who has been drinking old wine desires new, for he says, the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today's Gospel is one of those moments where Jesus challenges us to think differently, to move beyond the old ways of doing things, and to embrace the new life that he's offering us. It's about transformation, renewal, and being open to the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. When Jesus refers to new wineskins, he's talking about the need for newness, a new way of thinking, a new way of living, a new openness to the work of God. He's saying that the old ways of doing things, the old structures and the old mindsets aren't going to cut it anymore. The new life that Jesus brings requires something fresh, something flexible, something that can contain the fullness of what God wants to do in our life. St. Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, echoes this idea when he says, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. St. Paul understood that life in Christ isn't just about patching up the old, it's about becoming something entirely new. So what does this mean for us today? Well, it means that following Jesus isn't just about adding a little religion into our lives and making a few minor adjustments and tweaks. It's about being transformed from the inside out. It's about allowing Jesus to make us into new creations, to pour his new wine, the Holy Spirit, into our hearts, and to make us vessels that can carry his love, his truth, and his grace into the world. But here's the challenge. Sometimes we're like those old wineskins. We get comfortable with the way things are. We like our routines and our traditions and our familiar ways of doing things. But Jesus is saying, I want to do something new in you. I want to stretch you. I want to expand you to make you capable of holding more of my spirit more of my love, more of my power. As I record this reflection, I'm preparing to embark on my final canonical retreat. This is a week-long retreat that I'll take before my ordination into the permanent diaconate this month. And I can't help but reflect on this gospel and wonder, what newness is God calling me into in this new ministry? 
How will God take plain old Jim and turn me into something new as a deacon? In many ways, it's the same thing that he's calling each of us to today. Pope Francis has often spoken about the need for openness to the newness of the Spirit. He once said, Let us not cling to the nostalgia for structures and customs which are no longer life-giving in today's world. Let us allow the Holy Spirit to open new paths. And that's what Jesus is calling us to today, to let go of what's comfortable and familiar and to be open to the new paths that he's presenting to us. So let's ask ourselves today, where am I clinging to the old? Where am I resisting the newness that Jesus wants to bring into my life? And how can I become more like those new wineskins, open, flexible, and ready to receive the new wine that Jesus wants to pour into me? Remember that Jesus isn't just talking about making a few tweaks in our lives. He's about transformation, renewal, and making us into new creations. So let's be open to the work of the Holy Spirit and allow him to stretch us, to fill us, and to make us vessels that can carry his love and grace into the world. And please say a prayer for me and my classmates this week as we make our final preparation to become something new for Christ as deacons in the church. And so today, let's pray that we will be open to the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives and allow the love of God to transform our hearts into something new. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.